during the crisis of the second wave of COVID, about 2.5 lakh people in the state of Kerala are either speech impaired or deaf. How do the state mechanism communicate with such people? How do the messaging of vaccination or whether or if a speech or hearing impaired person gets uh, COVID, how do they deal with it? Meet the team of members of National Institute of uh, Speech and Hearing who are dedicated themselves to help people who are speech and hearing impaired. And a team comprising of Chitra, Prashant and Shanti are started a dedicated uh, WhatsApp video portal where people who are speech and hearing impaired can talk, communicate with them and find out how to go ahead. The team also comprises of social workers, psychologists, as well as many other people who are all dedicated themselves to help people who are speaking, speech impaired during the COVID crisis. This marginalized society needs help and support and heroes like her have dedicated themselves to the cause. And during the COVID crisis, the help that requires us where to find the hospital, which is the uh, place to get uh, all the medical help if needed, and how to go about when they feel a psychological problem. Uh, how does this team work? Actually, uh, if a deaf person has some problem, um, uh, they will call us through uh, WhatsApp video call and uh, uh, we three uh, are sign language interpreters. We will discuss with them what is the actually what is the problem and we will connect with uh, other professionals. In our team we have doctors, nurses, audiologists, speech language pathologists, counsellors, uh, then a nurse and doctor and uh, one person from disaster management is also with us and we will discuss the problem with them and we will translate uh, the uh, solution with the uh, deaf pe persons. Mm -hmm. So in the last wave of COVID, this helpline was there. How many people did it help cater to? Uh, last time we have actually we have uh, received uh, nearly more than 500 calls we have received uh, from uh, different uh, all over Kerala. If uh, somebody uh, who, who is affected with COVID positive, actually, uh, if uh, we will ask them what's actually his, what help he is actually needed, then if he needs some, uh, if he wants to move to uh, some hospital or something like that, we will actually connect to the, uh, uh, the nurse in our team or the doctor in our team and we will uh, uh, inform the nearby uh, PHC or uh, hospital uh, uh, near uh, the COVID patients district. What she just said was people who are speech impaired, half uh, deaf or completely deaf during this COVID time, you don't have to worry. The team is with you.